Hi, I'm Cindy with On Point Communications. Sometimes people ask, what's it like to work with Cindy? What's it like to get into the simulator of learning to become a top 5% executive communicator? I'm kind of hooked to the client like a sidecar. I am with you, we are moving together, and I am your partner. I'm gonna push you when you don't wanna be pushed. I'm gonna test you when you don't wanna be tested, and I'm gonna tell you the hard truth. So, when did you start seeing results? Can you expand um, the engagement? We started pushing to get results quick. We did. Because I had some other engagements booked several months out that I was going to get. So you're going up a notch in the next presentation. The, yes. I, I was going up several notches. Mm -hmm. If I gave the first presentation on floor five, the next presentation was going to be up on floor 35. Wow. You you pushed me from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. You you made that the homework that we had to do be very focused. And when I said that I didn't like watching myself in video, you forced me to watch myself on video a lot. <laughs> And then do it again a lot after you gave feedback to what was not working well. And you gave really nice feedback. You weren't mean. I remember watching Matt's video of the next presentation. It was a it was a it was a webinar delivered on LinkedIn Live, remember? Yes. He completely nailed it. It was like going from an F to an A plus. And I do not say that lightly. When I tell a client that they nailed it, I mean it. And I was able to give you legit, reasoned bullet points about why you nailed it, where you nailed it, and what that was going to do for you with that audience. And I was such a proud mama. <laughs> I really was. And it told me so much how critical the work ethic is of the client in the engagement. And Matt worked hard. He did what I asked him to do. He looked for the holes that he needed to fill. And when he was confused or stressed or felt less than, he came and asked me how to overcome that. 